Hi, my name is Gord Miller. I'm the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario. And I'm here to introduce my latest annual report to the Legislative Assembly. It's called Serving the Public. You should get it and read the essay and you'll find out why it's called that. But I really want to talk in this essay not about the report in its totality, but about, uh, about a central focus in the report, a main idea that comes out. And it has to do with the Ontario's Ministry of Natural Resources. There's, when I did this report, I found there were an awful lot of uh, issues and items that are problems in Ontario that relate back to the mandate of the Ministry of Natural Resources. And that in itself is concerned, but it relates to a bigger problem that is described. And that is that in 2012 there was a two-pronged attack on the Ministry of Natural Resources with respect to its, its main mandate, its role, and, it, and it's profoundly affected everything. So let's talk briefly about that. The first prong of that attack came in the Budget Bill 2012, called Bill 55. In that bill, there was a you know, budget bill. It's supposed to be about money. It's not supposed to be about the Ministry of Natural Resources mandate. But in the back, in a schedule, there were changes. Changes made to key pieces of, of legislation that were in the mandate of the MNR. For example, the Public Lands Act. 87% of the province of Ontario was public lands administered by the, the, the Minister of Natural Resources, and that act was changed to put in a clause allowing the Cabinet of Ontario, by regulation, to take control of those public lands away from the Ministry and, if they choose to, give them to a private third-party organization, say an American corporation. So, profound changes. There were other changes. The control of fish and wildlife could be delegated to a third party in a similar matter. So Bill 55 was what I call the outsourcing attack on the Ministry of Natural Resources and per could profoundly affect the way our, our public lands and our natural resources are administered in, in the province of Ontario. This was done in a budget bill with no public consultation. There was another attack. I call it the, the, the gutting attack. The Ministry of Natural Resources calls the transformation plan. Sounds tame enough. It really has to do with cutting the money to the Ministry of Natural Resources, cutting the jobs, cutting the regulations and, and the activities and, and the programs in the Ministry of Natural Resources. And that transformation plan is ongoing as we speak. So even if the control under the outsourcing attack is left in the hands of the Ministry of Natural Resources, they lack the resources, they lack the people, they lack the money to fulfill the requirements of their mandate. Either way, the lands and the natural resources of the province of Ontario are under threat by these bold changes introduced quietly without public consultation. If the government wants to do this, they can. It's within their legal rights, but they should do it in an open way and there should be public debate. This kind of change is important to be discussed with the Ontario people.